Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to Johns Hopkins University Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland. As some of you, probably many of you know, I was going in for some reconstructive surgery or the first of several reconstructive surgeries. And as you can see, this one is not pretty, but it's because it's the first. And what they have done is they've taken a flap of tissue from off of my forehead and they've moved it down across my nose to block uh, an opening in my nose called a fistula. I'll put that on the screen so you can see what that is. And uh, then in, oh, I guess a couple of weeks or a month, they're going to go in and they're going to make another, and they're going to do another surgery to uh, make that smaller. So I won't have this big lump on my face forever. But hopefully by then the fistula will start to heal up and close up. And uh, so uh, how am I doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, you know, certainly a lot better than last time you saw me in here. Um, they're giving me some painkillers, obviously. They've been cutting out of me. I need some painkillers, but nothing too terribly serious. I'm, I'm doing okay for pain. Uh, I, I'm lucid. I'm doing well. Um, nice staff. They're taking good care of me. And uh, I should be going home. All indications are, I mean, everything staying the same. Everything went perfectly, according to this the surgeon. And I should be going home tomorrow. Um, and then, of course, I will be able to get this uh, finished up and edited and posted because by the time you're seeing it, well, I'm already home, folks. So, <laughs> But I thought I would start making this while I was in the hospital so you could kind of come along for the adventure, uh, as I am famous for saying. Yeah. Uh, Beverly is here with me, and she is here for the duration. The right eye has been stitched shut for its own protection because they were in there and they took out the old support that was in there, the titanium plate that was in there, and they put in a new smaller titanium plate. And so they've been in there messing around with the eye, so they've stitched it shut just to protect it. The stitches will dissolve in a few days on their own and the eye will pop back open. So don't get upset. Everything's fine with the eye. Yeah. We're just protecting it and taking care of it. Yeah, I still have the eye. I can still see on the eye, I, I'm told. I mean, it's kind of dark in here right now. But, I, yeah, the eye's fine. It's just being protected. And uh, that is... More or less it for right now. Hopefully, uh, like I say, when I get home, I'll be able to do a little more on this before I post it. But I wanted to let you know how I was doing, and I am, I'm doing fine, folks. I'm in good spirits. I'm not in any pain. So everything went well, and uh, you can't ask for much more. So hang around, and I will wrap this up when I get home. Okay, everybody. Well, I am home. It is the following day. It is now uh, Wednesday, and uh, they only kept me overnight, and I am back home now. Uh, yeah, it was some pretty invasive surgery, but not major, obviously, because they only kept me for one, one night. Um, I know I look a wreck. Uh, my hair is all full of uh, a substance called betadine, which is a uh, an antiseptic. It's a, to keep things, uh, you know, sterile. And I have not had uh, the opportunity yet to clean it out. I, I say I just got home. Uh, you will see a rather substantial uh, incision somewhere here on my head, right, Beth? Yeah, right there. Um, and this is a cut that they made to take a piece of flesh from here and roll around down onto the side of my nose, which is about the size of my finger. So it looks 
pretty weird at the moment, but uh, I understand in the next surgery or the one after, whatever it's going to be, there's going to be several, <clears throat> that they will separate that from where it's connected right now and perhaps divide it and anyway, it'll get better. But the point was to get a piece of flesh down here on the side of the nose to close the hole, which is called a fistula, uh, it, that was in the side of my nose for the last seven months. I want to get that closed up and uh, so that it is uh, sterile. So there isn't any, you know, infections getting in and there isn't any material coming out running in my eyes. And this was the first step uh, in that direction. And this is all aftermath of the cancer surgery and the, the radiation therapy. So it's been seven months. This is still going on and it's going to be with us for a while. I'm so glad that I was able to get out and do the Cherry Blossom Festival episode before this because in the process of this current surgery to take the strap out from under my eye and replace it and all that, they had to remove my obturator and they have uh, put packing in its place and while I am probably able to speak almost as clearly as with the obturator, it's quite an effort to speak clearly, so uh, trying to make video is quite difficult. If we uh, if we do any uh, more cherry blossom episodes, very good probability that Beverly is going to be uh, narrating those for you. So I will be behind the camera, uh, and I'm not as good at that as she is, but we'll just try and get by. I'll do my very best. Anyway, I'm home. I'm alive. I'm well. I feel good. I'm in pretty good spirits. Uh, I'm not in any significant pain. Uh, as gnarly as this looks, uh, it, yes, it's painful, but they've given me painkillers, which are not debilitating. They're just enough to keep it under control. And so I, I'm doing well. Um, I, I know many of you want to keep up with, you know, what's going on with my health, not just with the other episodes. So I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I'm in good spirits. Uh, I'm back to work already. Uh, the following day, I, uh, I've been working from home, so I'm able to get right back to work and do my job and earn my living, and that is very helpful, of course. <laughs> Always good when you can earn a living. <coughs> and uh, I, I, I'm, so everything's going well. Um, and, uh, but I look like the devil. Uh, this is, uh, makes it difficult to wear my glasses, obviously. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got caught in part of it. That was unexpected. So you can see that's some of the problem with this, is just keeping this covered. It's, uh, it's not bleeding right now or anything. It's just to keep it clean. And, uh, so, sorry about that. <laughs> but it is, uh, it is pretty nasty looking, so... I will try and keep you posted as things uh, progress. I'm going in a week from today to get these stitches removed and probably some of the stitches around the eye. And uh, so it'll probably be about a week before we have any real updates about my health situation. But hopefully we'll have some other episodes before then. If we get lucky, we're certainly going to try. Thanks, everybody, for sticking with us. I certainly appreciate it. Um, it means the world to us. And uh, if you got questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everybody I can. If you're new here, well, I'm sorry it isn't under better circumstances, but take a look around. We've got a lot of different stuff to share with you, and there's lots more coming. So please consider picking subscribe and coming along for the adventure. And everyone, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.